Hi there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim with your reading. I hope you're doing really well. This is your next 48 hour reading. So we're just going to see what kind of energies are uh, coming in for you next 48 hour. Big or small, and I mean the duration of, of which the reading covers will probably be up to you and your um, how you resonate with it. Oh, air travel. I always get this one and another one mixed up. This is air travel. I'm positive, so I'm gonna look. Or um, it's a, a metaphor for like taking flight. Taking flight, okay, let me see. Um, sublimination. Sublimination, elevation, rising, taking flight, celebrated elevation in life possibly also the magic of air travel right yay yay there can be a risk of feeling like you're separate from others when you rise really high like that so it feels like you're about to be really elevated and don't let it disconnect you from who you are like <laughs> don't don't let it take away from the genuine, the genuine <laughs> genuinity, genuinity. I can't, I can't say that. I don't think that's even the right word <laughs> I'm looking for. When you're authentic, when you're genuine and no one's above anyone else, but everyone can definitely see when a person is being elevated. And you also have this a similar um, to Taurus's reading, the benevolent guide. which in their reading, it was also paired up with the cosmic egg from the animal spirit deck, which is kind of talking about this energy being all the information you need being available to you at any time. All you have to do is like look, um, reach, look for it or get it, <laughs> not even look for it, knowing that it's there, just have to access it. And so you can ask, um, it's, it's interesting we have two things with wings here look like white angel wings but it's it's a bee right and you have lightning here <laughs> this can be a tendency to strive for perfectionism to want to protect something but strangle it instead and like 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 I don't mean literally but so perfectionism and but your spirit team is not necessarily saying that that's a problem here with whatever this is so you might literally be about to take flight also I mean you may be going on a vacation or something like that oh beautiful all I know is your confidence is going to be really boosted up. It's going to be boosted up. And I love how that um, owl in the background, it really matches the sublimination. So taking flight and it's paired with the owl, the bird, the w wisdom. This is also indicating um, not just activation of one of your clairs, but just noticing which uh clear clear ability that you have you know clear sentient clear feeling you have clear audience which could be uh clear hearing clear cognizant which is just this clear knowing i think clairvoyance clear seeing is probably what is going to be highlighted with this card because of the uh the vision of the owl and the ability to focus <laughs> And they take flight and don't make a sound, right? So that's another thing about owls that's um, kind of interesting is if, when it takes flight. So the stingray is a card about your confidence, uh, building your spine, building your backbone, a strong backbone, um, and, and getting a lot of confidence. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with that, but you know, to just uh, 
only only go with the signs like if it really resonates with you a whole lot um i have crow and elephant so there's something here about this wisdom i dare say secret society but you know i have to because it's, it's the owl it's the owl so there's something that feels uh like the knowledge is very hidden but i would say that you would just have a knowing that be that clear cognizant energy cognizant of what's going on with a clear knowing um crocodile telling you to lay low and if you don't have to say something at this moment then don't say something wait before you strike wait till you uh stake it out <laughs> or you know what i mean stay quiet see what's going on um again with the being quiet or stealth like well that's really coming across isn't it stealth like or quiet so then i have uh, the elk <laughs> elk's lodge see <laughs> i was probably right with the with the owl um tip off there <laughs> some some secrets elk is a responsibility and it can represent the father character or the father archetype so about responsibilities and um a masculine energy that speaks of action putting something into action so being responsible and, and having the actions to kind of like um show that all right Let's see what else do we have for the sign of capricorn hierophant in the reverse king of pentacles you got two cards that represent taurus so even though i say don't really pay attention to signs too much the number five in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but made, both of these are like Taurus energies. So committed, it's the committed um, father figure, like the elk. So either, so something might be a very unconventional way, like something goes, like going about something in an unconventional manner with the Hierophant in the reverse, because this person's still committed I don't know if it's the same commitment, though, that this Hierophant is representing. Um, it can be like a need um, to get back to some kind of spirituality. Or that it would help. Or maybe you're falling out of uh, wanting to do things like the norm, like, like the formal ways. The Ten of... Ooh, Ten of Wands is here. That is a very, um, to me, it's the, the one card that represents, like, the most physical exertion that you can put into something. Um, I, I'm getting overcome, too. I'm getting overcome uh, because of there being some kind of big completion that you have had to put a lot of energy in. And it may be feeling like, well, when I get home to rest or sleep or something like that because that's what i would say with that uh the four of pentacles is here too i think that this is about building and the stability here spiritual growth material growth it can be a little bit closed off or it can simply be like i'm keeping to myself not wanting to let anybody else know kind of like what downloads you get or what you can see for the future or in the future <clears throat> like maybe not talking about it or opening up so definitely paying attention to finances maybe even banking something or saving something if you're able to the king of cups is in the reverse is it a need to balance some emotions or somebody's having an issue with balancing their emotions this is a past situation with the Ace of Wands. I think it's coming out because of this Ten of Wands. And then you have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck, which is, a, again, a completion of some sort. 
a commitment. Maybe this is the end of one commitment, the opening of possibilities for others. What is up with these kings? So the king, I have the emperor, but it's in reverse. I have the king of cups, and it's in the reverse. So there's a need to figure out what loving strategy is there what loving what way can can one be more diplomatic true to themselves is this something to do with authority power struggle of some sort what else King of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> and then the Page of Cups. New loving beginning, new loving start. <laughs> Adversity. Struggles with authority or power struggles. Somebody not being able to. So it's like there may be a lot of masculine energies right but none of them worth anything except for this new beginning here <laughs> to you for some reason for whatever reason you have the six of ones on the bottom wow so this is like a lot of inaction it's a lot of staying still and it's being a little closed off you're closed off to heart space and this person is also closed off to making any kind of logical sense and not wanting to follow rules or, or do something very not wanting to do something in a traditional manner so the page of cups is usually a really good card about uh, some kind of new beginning Capricorn so let's see what else the ten of cups in the reverse because you just know that something's missing from the picture Mm -hmm. and not feeling guilty about it here wanting to set oneself free from whatever mind prison this is hmm what could be missing give us some more uh, messages here from the siren song it's the Lenormand and the Kipper deck let's see what these kings are up to Sorrow, embarrassment, sadness, sorrow, lack of discipline, a shame. But all in all, you have a good outcome. But all in all, you have a good outcome. 15. <laughs> Which means that there is some type of ending here. But ultimately, a good outcome. Now, and what I mean by not ending, I guess what I mean is the inaction, the not moving forward with these energies. This is kind of like um, coming across as the lovers, the good, good outcome. The two birds. Unexpected money, 27. Maybe to allow for some kind of new start. No, there is, there is some type of ending because there's a completion. It has to do with, with the action, completion to some action. That's why these things are not moving forward. Something is being done in a very non-traditional way. You still have commitment. You still have a good money resources coming in, or it's like if you don't see it, they're definitely coming in. And now you have star 16, which is um, big fame, recognition, being famous for something doing something really, really well. The Odyssey, number 10. It's the journey. I don't know if you've gone on this part of your journey yet. I think they're saying be open to your to whatever this is on your journey. And I have the expectation. Expectation. 
And I think it has to do with the owl, though. I think it has to do with your vision. Oh, yeah, and it also has to do with that hidden knowledge or the wisdom that's kept, like, secret. Book, secrets. A secret. Hmm. An unhealthy secret. This situation from the past is rather unhealthy, and it's having a burnout or a completion. Mm -hmm. Here's the energy coming in as Rider 1. This is like good news coming your way, maybe even from a different state or something like that. It could be representing the Knight of Wands, like a passionate partner, somebody that's wanting to movement, have movement or travel with you. Siren number 1. That's you. And you are looking at the stars <laughs> and the success is there. Fame, recognition, also the clover, hey, that's success. Something that you have brought, like that you manifested, right? 36, the cross, all the sacrifices you've made. Stability, that's what I said about the building upon um, stability, building upon um, a house, a home, a residence. <laughs> and I have 28 women. Birds putting in more effort. People are talking, people are noticing. And here you go with the crossroads again. Which direction you want to go? Marriage, good gent, the scythe. Feels like it's wanting to say in the reverse, like there may be a risk, but, or if somebody says something is a risk, but I don't think it ends up being to you. And then I have the ring, the commitment card on the bottom of it. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Desire is what it says on the ring. Occupation. And then you have marriage again. A crossroads about a choice or a decision regarding marriage again. Yeah, you have that marriage card too. Um, the child in is the new beginning. Is yet it's the journey that is yet to um, to to come. Yet is yet to come. Courthouse might actually be about a child. Might be about settling out of court or something about that be, that's gonna be mediated. I can't talk. Imprisonment, feeling kind of. Um, like you don't know, uh, like feeling trapped, maybe in the mind, maybe in the mind. An official person, 22. Look at that, crossroads, 22, too. So 22, 22. Somebody has a lot of power, is an official person. Toil and labor, there's that work, the hard work. And the pathway, it's, it, it, these, the crossroads, the decision is on this pathway. It leads to a high-level commitment here, energy. And something about judgment or making a judgment call at the courthouse or about the courthouse. Poverty is in reverse. So that is good. And that's what I've got for you, Capricorn. That's your reading. Um, if you need a private reading, you can reach out to me in the description box. Is my website. I have a ring. I have snake, which is um, watch other uh, others' words, slander, gossip, the heart, finding love, finding love. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. I'm sending you love and light. Bye bye.